So you guys might have seen a recent vlog on my channel called Is Martinsville, Indiana a Racist Town? And if you guys watched it, you'll know that I talked about Alfred Merritt, who was a prominent African-American from here, who started the Boys Club, and uh, they named a park after him. Well, I wanted to come see the park for myself, and it was a little bit difficult to find because it wasn't on their uh, government list of city parks. Um, and that may be because I found out when I got here, it's a bunch of baseball fields. So it's like a, a baseball park, and which is pretty cool, but they're flooded out, worse than I am at home. A um, lot of standing water, deep water looks like, and I'm going to show it off and, and we're going to take a look around. There's some guys here working, looks like they're getting some of the ball fields ready, so I'm going to try to stay out of their way. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see them getting the uh, ball fields ready for the season. Uh, but uh, also I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, the future of Matt's Big Dream and some of the cool stuff we got coming up, because I've got some pretty cool things planned and we're going to talk about that. So let's get today's Explore Indiana Adventure Hike going on. <laughs> So I've got a couple of action-packed months coming up ahead, and you guys do too, because I'm gonna bring the cameras along for everything. I'm gonna be documenting all of it and putting it all out there on YouTube. Um, a lot of fun stuff. Um, uh, coming up real soon, we've got the, uh, later this month, we've got the uh, Indianapolis 500. I've got my ticket. I talked about that in a recent video. I'm going to the Snake Pit again, just like last year. Should be an awesome video. Um, I also have a new camera coming. Um, I've already ordered a nice, LX100, it's a Lumix, a Panasonic Lumix, a really nice camera, shoots 4K, and so the videos that you guys should be seeing probably starting next week um, should be getting a little better as I learn the camera. Um, cool stuff, really excited about the new camera. Um, and I'm gonna be taking it on the cruise I'll be going on next month where I'll be going to Haiti, Jamaica, and Mexico, and I'm also gonna be bringing the drone. So you guys are gonna get to see lots of drone footage and uh, just some really cool footage from some cool places I'm gonna get to travel to. Um, and then when I come back, I'm definitely gonna hit some more uh, exploring Indiana stuff and uh, do a lot of the, the the typical summer stuff I like to do and get out. Um, hopefully I can get a little more wildlife. Um, in the past years, you guys know, I've, I've put up lots of videos with raccoons and birds and possums and uh, any wildlife I could I could find and get a camera in front of, but I wanna learn more about uh, filming wildlife and uh, maybe do a little bit more of that this summer. Um, We'll see. Hopefully uh, that comes along. And I might even go back and see some waterfalls. You guys might know a couple years ago I did a waterfall week where I went around and found the five best Indiana waterfalls, some really cool places. Uh, but I didn't have a drone then, and uh, I couldn't film them from the air. And I have gone back to at least one of them and filmed from the air. But I'm thinking about doing another waterfall week and going around to more of them. Now, I can't go to the ones I went to last time because a lot of them are in state parks and I can't fly in a state park. But there's plenty more cool places I can fly. and so. This is just another reason to explore some more and find some more cool places. So we're gonna have some fun this summer, that's for sure. So look forward to that, guys.
So as I mentioned before, I want to get into more wildlife stuff and filming more wildlife stuff. I love it. It's very interesting to me. Um, and I've already been learning a lot from my buddy Simon, who uh, has a channel on YouTube called Wild Presentations. And I want you all to go check his channel out, subscribe to him, give him some support. He's got uh, some cool things coming up that you guys are going to want to see. And he's already got a lot of great content now. The one in particular that I really love is called The Allotment Fox. He did a whole documentary. I think it's a little over an hour long, but it is fascinating. I'm already on my second time watching it because it's just, it's a great documentary. It really is. Uh, it's really cool to see this place I never even knew existed, uh, these allotments and uh, the wildlife they have there. It's just neat. So guys, go check out Wild Presentations. There's a link to his channel in the description below. Check that one out and uh, tell me what you guys think of that. But uh, as you can see, this park, it's super flooded. Um, this is not supposed to be a lake behind me. I'm, I'm guessing it's just supposed to be a, the area between all the ball fields because you can see there's more ball fields over on the other side. But it's pretty bad but it was cool to see this park and if you guys want to come check it out um, you should be able to find it pretty easy easier than i did because i was looking at city parks but now you know it's a baseball field so they've got a uh, they've got lots of uh pages on the internet that'll help you find it if you need any help so um thanks for watching thanks for coming along on today's hike and uh appreciate it give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a high five and don't forget to subscribe and we're going to see you guys next time peace